Valley guys, week 9 I think this is. So continuing on from last week, that uh, wrist lock set up in the Ezekiel, we're going to show you how to hit a choke. So I got my grip, grab the pants, heavy cross face, okay, so I'm making the car a little away. My knee comes inside the elbow. I bring my knee over to threaten the mounted position. If he doesn't stop this with his hand, I have the mount. This is better. Okay. Um, so positions. Turn this way, I want to see this position. So when Carr puts on this heavy cross face, see his um, left knee? If he doesn't bring it under my elbow and it's just flush there, the second I let him mount, I already, we'll just go straight in the mount, I already have him in the half guard. That makes sense? So, switch positions. So that's why when I, I threaten the mount, I don't bring my knee here, where he's made a frame between his body and my knee. Yeah. Bring my knee <coughs> under the elbow. So I have the grip. Make him look away. My knee comes under the elbow. My head's forward, and I bring my knee across as if I'm going to mount. Okay. Sometimes what happens is they put their hand here okay, to stop this position. So last time we showed you, I get the grip on the wrist, I stuff it to the mat, and I bring my shin across. Okay. Last time we showed you how to threaten this wrist lock. So I pull this in, try to go for a wrist lock. Um, it's not high percentage, and he stuffs his arm, and then this gives me my Ezekiel choke, which we looked at last time. Okay. This time, from here, I'm going to do the same move. Okay. And when I threaten this wrist lock, okay, I'm going to stiff arm my, my right arm and my right leg and turn the car onto the side when I step up to here. Okay. We covered this position. Um, Guard passing Master Psycho um, from the headquarters position. We showed you how to moon a platter from here, so we can do a double attack. I can attack the moon a platter on this arm this way, or I can attack, attack the choke this side. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick recap. So from here, I put all the weight on my right knee. I bring my foot over his head. My right hand grabs my hip as I drop down, pinching my knees together, and I have moon a platter on the shoulder. So, again, from my side control, grip onto the armpit, maybe cross face, knee comes onto the elbow, and I threaten the mount, my head is leaning on the mount, putting so much pressure on it. Knee stops this, I get the grip, and I pin it with my shin. I'm looking for this wrist lock. Or the fence. Stiff arm, so I straighten my, my left arm and my left leg from here. Okay. Usually car will have the, the, the other hook anyway. Trying to work his escape. From here, I post my leg and I stiff arm this and get him on the side. And they bring my foot tight to the shoulder. Okay. So last time we hit the amount of platter, this time we go for the choke. If he's got the grip like this, I'm gonna go for that wrist lock again. Press down, so it's a double attack. His defense will be the stiff arm and straighten it out. When he does, my right hand comes underneath and grabs the lapel. Okay. I put the weight on my left foot as I step over his head. Now I've got what's called the Flavio Panto choke. So from here, I still control the shoulder and I just extend straight. So it's a blood choke. face, knee comes inside, head forward, it's red in the mount, trace to stop it, put in the wrist, stiff arm it, pin it with my shin. Okay. Post my hand for base, I straighten my leg and I stiff arm this. Okay. And then I bring my foot up into this position here. Okay, so I can hit them on a platter, this time we're going to go for the choke. So, if cars grip my leg, I can't swing my leg over, so I'll just threaten that wrist lock and stuff it down. His defense is just a stiff arm. When he does, that's my entrance into this uh, flabby panto choke. So, thumb inside. You don't need to get it super deep. I 
lift, put the weight on my left foot so I swing my leg over. Okay. I have the grip and then the lapel. So my right hand's cutting off his right jugular. My left leg is cutting off his other jugular as in a block. From here, I'm still controlling this, hugging it to my body. I need to straighten my leg, straighten my arm. Same concept, guys, as the arm up, palm down show that we've done way back when we did close guard. So when we played close guard last year, I had one hand on the lapel, then I put one foot, and I cut an angle. Okay, then from there I punch this up, create space, so I can get a thumb inside, and I go for this choke, palm up, palm down choke. Call defense by pushing this. Okay. And then we showed you how I keep cutting that angle and I throw my leg over his head. And I have to choke from there as a choke. So then my right hand was in and my left hand. So my right hand is the actor, the choking arm. My left leg's just a block, it just blocks off that side of the jugular. And then I straighten the other. Okay, so it's the same principle. Does that make sense? Okay, look, there's my um, cutting off the right side. The left leg's just a block. It's doing the same job as this. This was just a block on the palm up hand. So, using the same concepts and principles, it's the same basic move, okay? So again, from side control, left hand grabs uh, under the armpit, make him pull the face by making him look away, left knee comes under, head forward, right knee threatens, grab this, in it, head forward, Okay, all I'm going to do is I post my hand, post my leg, and I stiff arm this up. I fill the space. Okay? Now, if Carl hasn't got the grip over my back, I'm not going to hit this move. Okay? If his arm's inside, here, I'll probably switch to something else. So, from this position, I want this trapped. Okay? So, from here, I'll grip the wrist lock, and when he stands it out straight, my right arm comes into the lapel. I lean my weight forward, which allows me to get my leg over. Okay. And then from here, I'm still controlling this arm. I just um, wrist curl, and my leg is blocking. Just a step. Okay. Push up, love you. Can't get choked, guys. From the on belly.